Anyone who thinks the technology can solve their problem doesn't understand technology and doesn't understand their problem. So much of what we need to do to address cybersecurity in the MTS is as much about governance and policy as it is about technology. Hack the Port is going to be an opportunity for government leaders, industry leaders, industry members um, coming together, talking about various aspects of cybersecurity within the maritime transportation system. So one of the issues that we have is that when you look at the communications protocols on ships, all of these things were designed in the, um, in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, and people were not thinking about an intelligent actor being the problem that we had to worry about. The opportunity that we have here at Hack the Port, and of course with the CTF as well, is we can really show the vulnerabilities that exist um, in maritime vessels right now. Some of the vulnerabilities that we've been able to expose since we've been here are things like you can take over the steering and propulsion and actually change the direction of the propulsion system. You can hack into the navigation system and take over the heading, change the heading. We want to make sure that um, we're getting the word out to everyone about how vulnerable these systems really are. And we're able to do that by being part of Hack the Port and showing off the Grace consoles um, and being a, a big part of the CTF as well. The teams are starting to hack the IT stack, which is exciting. The IT stack represents a vessel in port. It consists of an IT network and a little bit of a vessel network using a MIA 2K. And hopefully the teams will be able to find the flag that is hidden inside the IT network. What we're trying to show overall is how important it is to have up-to-date software on ships, especially um, if there's any kind of connection from the IT to the OT side. If a ship can be hacked the same way an office building can be hacked through, you know, various uh, out-of-date network protocols, um, that can be a really big issue if after you do that you then have the access to say like turn the propeller off or what have you. Trying to get the maritime industry to to embrace cybersecurity is like trying to turn a large ship with a front rudder. A lot of the things that are that are holding up maritime from embracing cybersecurity to the extent they need to is to get enough of the people outside of the industry to understand the importance of maritime. And most people, even today, even those that have grown up with computers, don't really necessarily exercise what I would say is good cyber hygiene. Well, that ripples into everybody that's on a boat as well. Do all of the crew exercise good cyber hygiene? Well, if they don't do it at home, they probably don't do it at work. The first step in building a cyber defense is being aware that there is a problem and being able to analyze your situation to understand where your, your issues are and try to deal with the big ones. Um, you're not going to be able to make all cyber problems go away because you're not going to be able to get rid of all the cyber attackers. They will still always be out there. But you need to have some way to defend yourself and knowledge is, is your starting point.